Are you considering crochet braids? Do you want to start but don't know where? You don't know what hair to pick and how to care for it? Okay, so today that's what we're going to be talking about. What hair to pick when you're first starting out on crochet? What is going to be more difficult versus easier to install, easier to care for? And how you can progress in your installs each time you try. So if you want to learn more about installing your own crochet, then just keep watching. Hey you guys, Shay Niche here. Thank you for stopping by my channel. So like I said earlier, today we're just going to be talking about beginner friendly hair. We're going to talk about the different ways that you can install your hair. We're going to be talking about the different hairs that you can choose from. That's going to make it easier for you to learn how to do your own hair. We're going to talk about hair that you probably need to stay away from as a beginner and how to progress on each install. For me, when I first started, I completely... It wasn't good it, it wasn't good it wasn't good okay um so what I did was I piled a whole bunch of hair on my head because I didn't know what I was doing I was just pulling it just just trying to cover all the the cornrows and I ended up looking like a monster it was absolutely terrible um yeah and so I ended up taking that out immediately and then trying it again with lesser hair but then I had gaps and I didn't I didn't know what to do so I just kept trying, kept trying, kept trying. I don't know why, but I just wanted to get it down. I think that's just my mentality. I just, I feel like I should know everything. I don't know. Anyway, I'm here to help you, okay? Because when you go in the beauty supply store and there's hundreds of different hairs to choose from and then you choose what you think is pretty and then you get home and it is an entire mess and it's, it's stringy and you don't know how to pull it apart and all of that, we're going to save you all of that. We're going to save you all of that. I'm going to tell y'all what to start with and then how you can slowly progress each time you do an install, okay? So let's go. See, I got a little, I got some little notes today. <laughs> I'm preparing. Okay, y'all. And also, let me just say this. I'm finna try not to smack, okay? Okay? What started out as a happy, I won't say... I was doing it intentionally because I thought it was funny when I was in a good mood and feeling myself. Then it turned into a habit. And I didn't realize it until y'all said something about it. So, I'm, I'm going to try to do better. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so let me get let me get in my, let me get in my notes. Let me get in my notes. Let me get in my notes. The first thing you want to start out with when you are first trying crochet. This is your very first install. Okay. And you have not had any kind of experience all you know is you got a crochet needle and you know how to corn roll and and that's it okay what you want to go get it might not be what you want right now but it's going to be great for you to start with okay braids braids locks twist not bohemian not um what what the, what else they call them not not this stuff not stuff with loose hair we talking about full blown full locks twist or braids okay i know it's not necessarily what you want especially being that bohemian is in but if you have never maintained crochet hair at all that's not going to be the first thing you want to try. Okay? As a crochet version, you should not. Okay? You should not do bohemian. You should not do loose bulk hair. You should not do any of that. You start out, say this again, locks, braids, twist. Okay? Let me show you some examples. You notice how these have no kind of curls, you know, in them, nothing like that. You know, you can do, you can do distressed, you can do butterfly locks, you can do um, small twists, big twists, big braids, small braids, long braids. It don't matter. Just as long as there's no loose hair on it. What that's going to do is get you used to using your needle. Okay. 
is going to get you used to being able to distribute hair across your head without looking like a helmet or looking like you missing something. Now, of course, I have videos on all these different kinds of braids. I will try. Y'all know I'm moving. I'm in the middle of moving. But I will try to link those videos, <laughs> you know, down in the description box. But I do have a beginner-friendly playlist. So, go check that out. Follow that playlist. Because it, it, it could be a tool for you, I hope. Okay? So... After that, after you feel like you've gotten that down, well, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me back up. <laughs> let me back up. So, when you're installing these locks, these twists, these braids, if you don't do anything else, just follow this one rule, and it's gonna help you. When you are installing your locks, your twists, or your your braids, make sure that you are distributing them at least two finger widths apart. I know it seems like it's going to be sparse as hell. I know. But when you're done, when you you spacing them all through your cornrows, two, two a piece, I know it's going to look empty up there. You're going to be like, what the hell? This, this is not it. Do that first. Distribute it all across your head, two finger widths apart, okay? Once you do that, you go back and you fill it in. And the way you fill it in, you fill in the top. And I know you'll have to take a rubber band and, and put some up, you know, section it up to get it out of your way. That's cool. That's fine. By any means necessary. But when you fill it in, when you go back and fill it in, you fill in your crown area first, your sides second, and your back third. Okay. So that way you're going to get the desired density that I can't talk. The desired density that you want. Okay? If you just start, oh no, this ain't enough. Let me go and fill in some more. It's not gonna work. You're gonna end up looking like a helmet. Now, that's not to say forever. Once you get used to installing these bulk hairs, these locks, these twists, these braids, you're going to know. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to know how many on each corn roll, like, it's just going to become natural. It's going to be, it's going to become just habit where you're going to know how many you need to put on each strand. It just, that's just a natural order of things you will. But in the beginning, in the beginning, in, you know what I'm saying? The first pace. Genesis, okay? You space them out first and then go back and fill them in. Okay? Okay. What is that? Mm -hmm. oh, that's on my let's, let's go. How many times did I pop? Have I popped yet? I probably did. So after that, you're used to that, right? You're used to the locks, you're, loose, you're used to the twists, you're used to the braids. The next thing you can do on your next install, you've graduated. You can do Bohemian, okay? Now, I would not still advise that you jump in and get these with all this hair. There are some you can get, like, uh, Free Tris has one, um... Sam's Beauty has one, I'll try to pull up these pictures, um, of hair that just has the curls at the end. Even the uh, French curl crochet braids from Amazon, even those, you can do those with just the hair at the end. What that's going to do, firstly, the difference between filling this in and doing box braids is a big jump. You can still end up looking like a helmet with this, okay? But the spacing and how you're going to install them, the going back, filling it in, you know, all of that first, all of that is gonna be the same. You're not worried about the strands in between and how thick it's going to make your install look, none of that. You're going to actually be doing the same method that you did before. This time, you just have hair at the end that you're going to be learning how to care for. And it's the most minimal piece of hair. 
Now I know they have that in um, they have that in twist form. They have it in lock form, and now they have it in you know braid form. Um, Gotten braids has some. If you're trying to order some online, Amazon of course has some. Sam's Beauty has some. So, and I'm sure probably your local beauty supply store probably has some too. That would be the next step. Okay. So then after that, after that, then come to this. Then you can go to the, the goddess braids, the goddess locks, which is what I have. The goddess, um, they even have goddess twists now. I don't, I don't necessarily recommend the goddess twist let me tell you why most of the curls that's coming through the twist because a twist is really it's very loose they are harder to install when you're trying to pull the hair through the loop they tend to move you know and some unravel and some like you know pull you know and 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 that's a lot it's a lot for a beginner. It might not be a lot if you're used to it, but I found it aggravating when I was installing them. So I can imagine being a beginner trying to deal with that. So I would say the first bohemian style that you do, let it be braids or let it be locks. Save twist at the end if you just have to have them, okay? Now, Zuri and I think Model Model, I have a video on that. Um, I think It might be a YouTube short. I don't know, but I did like a combo, but they were short and they had curls at the end and some had curls through it, but they were so well made. They were so, so pretty. I might have to go back to them for it. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. I'm, I'm hair dreaming. Um, but yeah, you can try something like that, but I would definitely advise locks or braids when it comes to Bohemian. Now, you're going to install those all the same way. You, when you put it in, you're going to do it two to three spaces apart. Two to three. It, it really just depends. This is what I decide on. If the hair, see like this one doesn't have any hair in there. It's at the end. But then like this one has hair throughout the strand, right? And then the hair at the end. So it really depends on how much hair is coming through the lock or the braid that's going to determine if you're going to use two or three finger whips apart. The more hair that's on the strands, the bigger the gap you want in the beginning. Okay? And then when you're done, you're going to go back and fill it in. That's it. Okay? Fill it in to your density. The same fill in method, crown, size, back, same. Okay? Every time. But you just want to be sure because bohemian hair can get big and it can get big very, very fast. So you want to take a little bit more time when installing this hair. Now, the next part of this bohemian journey is learning how to care for it. Now, if you did it the way I suggested and you did the ones with no hair first and then the ones with just hair at the end, you have pretty much learned how to manage the synthetic hair. But it's like now you're going to have a lot more of it. Okay. Now, I will have to do a separate video for how to care for these hairs because they range they honestly range it really just depends in a nutshell people love hawaiian silky i'm allergic to it so i can't tell you you know how it works or whatever but people i watch like leah levon and some other ones they swear by it so you know try it it worked good for them um, you can use, like, if you have the Be Famous Beauty spray, that, uh, snapback spray, you can use it. It's not just specific to that hair brand. You can use it for any hair. Um, I, if I don't have, you know, the, uh, Be Famous Beauty hair, then I get the re, uh, Lord have mercy. 
I get the spray leave-in conditioner. It don't really matter what brand, to be honest. So you can really use just water, like use a spray bottle and mix it with some water and um, use some leave-in conditioner just a little bit because you don't want a lot of buildup and you know put that on there to keep it kind of soft and silky and shiny. This hair, I haven't done anything to it. I have been packing, moving, you know, all kinds of stuff. If you're on memberships and you probably know by now, you know, it's a lot going on. But, so I haven't been able to maintain this hair. So, and I haven't, like last night I didn't sleep in a bonnet. I didn't um, use a shower cap. And you see how it's kind of, you see that? See, it really needs to be refreshed. Like real bad. Look. It doesn't look terrible. It looks cute. But I can definitely, when you like hone in on it, you, you, you can see. And so you definitely have to care for this hair. And Lord, if you add accessories, it's going to get tangled. And I got some in here somewhere. Your shells and stuff, crystals, and they, with this loose hair, it pulls. It gets tangled very easily and it will get frizzy very easily if i'm not careful but i know probably monday morning before i go to work i'm going to go ahead and kind of refresh this hair because it's in desperate need of it and all i'm going to do is kind of pull it you know detangle it by finger combing it mist it with some water and then put a little leave-in conditioner in my hands and kind of go through it like that that's what i'm gonna do now, if it's extremely, if it gets extremely frizzy, if I kept this going, you know, and I'm just irresponsible, just out here making bad decisions and I need to refresh it, then I'm going to do the same thing. I'll probably wet it a little bit more and then I will twist this hair up into about, I don't know, six to eight plaits all over my head, let it air dry and then undo it to bring it back to its right mind. After you have conquered that it's time okay you have learned how to install hair you have learned the spacing when installing hair you have learned how to maintain synthetic hair on a smaller scale so it's time i'm not saying it's time for illusion methods or nothing like that but it's time for loose hair this is what you came for, right? I know this is what you came for. I know it. I know it. I know it. All right, so. Let me pull out my lid. Let me pull me. Okay, so yes. Um, when it comes to loose hair, you want to get kinky hair. Do not. Do not do silky hair. Do not do soft hair the kinkier the better now i want to wait 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 aside from marley hair because marley hair it can be easy but it can also be terrible just depending on if you used to dealing with that kind of hair and and again we going off of you ain't used to it so don't do that don't don't do the marley hair yet okay but when i say kinky hair curly hair Hair with texture. I mean in specific hair. Like. Let me pull it out. Let me pull it out. Motion Bounce by Main Concept. Um, made or Madey. Made I think. Whatever you call them people. Um, they have a deep wave. I didn't like the deep wave. You're going to be on the video and be like. Shay why you send me here. If you don't like the style. I didn't like the style on me. But the hair itself maintained beautifully. Um, uh, free tris and model model. They now uh, I'm reaching way back, so I hope that they still have these. But they had a one curl series, and you know, they had the uh, fresh one curl, and um, I don't know, these different ones, all these different ones that were based around one curls, and they were gorgeous. If they still have that, get those because they most of them have a, some kink to them. They're going to be easier to install. Um, and if you don't want to go that route, I will say stuff like uh, Rossifree's Finger Coil. 
that was very very easy to do and i think there's a soft dread by kima braid i've never tried it but i think leah did um that seems very very easy and very similar to the finger coils by rasa free um so those would be easier to install as well kinks and and texture and curls gonna help now i know y'all gonna say loose hair my first time doing loose hair I need to get the pre-loop. Not true. Not true at all. But let me tell you how many times I have seen people go get the pre-looped hair and they say, oh, this is going to be it. This is going to be easy. This is going to be it. You know, And but they've looked at installs of other people's, you know, or seen pictures of other people's hair and they're using the pre loop method, but they're not beginners. And you think the choice is going to turn out like that. That's, that's not how it works. Because when you're dealing with pre-looped hair, that's all well and good. When you when you in the, in the nape and, you know what I'm saying, you, install, you are inside your install, basically. Cool. But when it comes to the perimeter and putting a part in your hair and stuff like that, you're going to have to pop the band that's on it if there's a band on it. You're going to have to untwist the little loop that they have hard, you know, like really looped or really twisted. You're going to have to take that apart, split the hair, make sure you get enough, you know, in each section when you split it and then install it in your hair. If you, if you up for the challenge, go for it. But if you're a beginner and this is your first time doing loose hair, you already got to try to figure out your spacing. You got to figure out the knots. You got to figure out how to secure it. You got to figure out if you're trying to do any kind of knotless method. You going to add to that by having to fight with the hair to separate the, the curls and stuff and know where you have to separate it and, and, and pop the, the band on and all of that. It adds too much complication. It adds too much complication. Okay. And then also, I would never tell you, you know, get a tight curl because it's going to be easier. That's not true. That's not true. It's all about texture, not the curl, the texture. You want to be sure that it has a kinky texture. Water Wave. Water Wave has a very tight curl, but it's silky as hell. If you've ever tried it, especially like the one by Freetress, have you have you tried it? Let me know if you tried. It. It's silky, ain't? It? It's silky as hell, ain't? And you gotta, you gotta, you either you done knotted it ten times because you're trying to make it stay, or you're trying to secure it, so you pulling the hair apart and it's frizzy now. Like that's that's case in point right there. It's not about the curl, cause the curl can be tight, but it still be silky and it's gonna be hard to install. So even if you have to take a pack of hair up to, you know, one of the, the, the clerks or whatever you call them, salespeople, whatever, and ask them, hey, can I, can I see this, you know, a little bit out the pack? They might not let you touch it now because of, you know, COVID guidelines or whatever, I don't know. But you should be able to, like, see the actual texture of the hair to make sure that it's kinky, Okay. The thing about kinky hair is you're not going to have to really secure it. And you don't want to have to learn how to secure the hair when you're a beginner right off the rip. But if you do want to know, I do have a video. And I am going to be updating that video because that video is several years old. And whereas those methods work great, I have updated ones and I definitely need to share that with you. Now, it's, it, they are in my videos, like my current install videos and stuff like that. But as far as an updated specific video for securing knots, I'm going to make that very soon. I was about to pop. I was about to pop. Have I done good? I, I hope I did. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. So yeah, kinky hair is going to be the best bet, okay? Because it's going to stay, okay? It's going to be easier to split. It's not going to be like shedding and slipping all over the place. It's going to be easier for you to deal with while you're trying to get your your mojo going okay so try that first okay so while we're on the subject let's definitely talk about the hair to stay away from we already know silky hair silky hair is not for a beginner it's not for a beginner pre-looped hair is not for a beginner now after you have 
mastered the kinky hair install, by all means, by all means, go to Prelude. But do not go from kinky hair to straight up silky hair. That's probably not going to be the best bet for you, okay? Go to the Prelude hair. And you can even get a silky hair in Prelude hair. And, and transition it that way. But let me just say that the silky hair is the, it, it's gorgeous. It is, it gives bundles, it does. And especially if it's a loose curl pattern, you know, a good, a good ocean wave that's soft, you know, it's not necessarily silky, some of them are silky, but you know, um, easy, what's it called? Easy Braid by Innocence, I think is the brand name and then is brazilian body wave gorgeous hair gorgeous hair kima has a line i can't remember the name of it it's not kima braid but it's another kind of kima same company all of them by harlem 125 but she they have one and it's silky and they got a couple of different patterns gorgeous hair gorgeous hair they all give bundle they do and for the most part if it's a loose curl like an ocean wave a brazilian body wave you can comb through them and you know brush them to make sure that you know they they look all right and you can manage it okay all well and good but it is always going to be more maintenance than it would be if it's like a kinky curly hair every time every time so you want to make sure that you master everything else before you go to this silky hair. You want to make sure that you've made that you have mastered securing your hair. You want to make sure that you have mastered the spacing in which you install your hair because you the last thing you want is this, this big helmet over you. It's going when I say it's going to nest up baby and you'll wake up with with birds and and and, and eggs and whatnot farm fresh you're gonna wake up and it's it, chickens everything it's not gonna be good it's not gonna be good i promise you that it's not gonna be good you have to maintain it you have to make sure you put up put it up at night you have to be sure that it's installed correctly silky hair has to be done with perfection if you want it to look like anything you have to be able to know your do's and don'ts and what you can handle before you get the silky hair you let that be the last thing you do the last thing you grab okay to know how to even pick up the hair to split it okay when it's silky it makes it more complicated just don't do it don't do it don't do it miss silly don't do it don't do it. ocean wave and you know everybody crazy about chemo ocean wave listen Kima Ocean Wave is soft. It's not necessarily silky, but it's very soft. So if you're going to install that kind of hair, make sure that you know how to secure it because it will slip and it will shed. And you knotting it 20 times, it's going to look tacky. Don't do that. You want to knot it the one time like you're supposed to and then secure it. Do your little knot list because let me tell you something. If you do knots on Kima Ocean Wave, it's going to scream. Everybody going to know it. And that's fine. If you're okay with that, that's the energy you're trying to get, baby. Go for it. Stretch your stuff. But Kima Ocean Wave does not begin a friendly install at all. I think that's it, y'all. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. So if y'all have if y'all have any questions, if I miss something, if you need me to elaborate a little bit more on another video, let me know. Okay? And I will do so. Let me know how I did about my about my mouth, my smacking, and my popping. I hope I did all right. I really do. I really tried. If 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 I did it, I'm sorry. I, I'm I'm really trying. <laughs> I'm really trying. Like I, I that's so ironic because that kind of shit used to drive me crazy too. It used to drive me crazy too. And somehow, like I did it being funny, and now it's. It's a habit. So, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, y'all are my nails. These are... Okay. These, these are press-on nails. Can you see them? It's too bright in here. Okay, you see? You see? Oh, my elbow looks a little ashy. You see? These are press-ons. They're press-ons. Yes, baby, they're press-ons. It gives press -on. I have press-on toes, too. You want to... No, no. 
Listen, though, the reason why I brought that up, just hold on one second, hold on one second. It's a, one of our family members, y'all, she started, I don't think she's on YouTube yet, but I know she's on Instagram and I know she on TikTok. Hold on. If y'all into press songs and stuff, she's definitely been honing in on, on that situation, but I think she's going to be doing more um, of, you know, DIYs and stuff like that. Um, and just like beauty hacks, stuff like that. Y'all know we like the support over here. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. We family. We family. And we finna follow each other. Okay? Because if we ain't gonna help us, who the hell is? <laughs> so, y'all go check her out. I'll try to link her stuff down in the description box as well. So, y'all go check her out. Okay? Anyway, I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for watching my video. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and share it with a friend. And even if y'all just hit copy link, can you do that? Thank you. <laughs> I love y'all and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. I've been to myself just me lately. I don't need a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? I've been to myself just me lately. I don't need a lot. I don't